It's never easy listening to a young person who is in great pain, and that is what we see. What the children go through is so horrific that they don't believe people will believe them. There's a silence, there's a web of silence still around sexual abuse and sexual exploitation, and we need to break that silence. Abuse takes no prisoners. So within every race, religion, creed, culture, colour, socioeconomic class, child abuse is there. It can happen to anyone, um, and it can happen to young men and young women and boys and girls. But it's not just when it gets out onto the news. It is happening daily to young people. It is a very, very secretive world, and it's one where the young person finds it extremely difficult to believe that they are, they're not in the wrong. It can have a, a profound impact on confidence and self-esteem. They, they can't smile the same. They could cover their eyes. They could not speak for three months. Self-harming, drug and alcohol use, um, and depression. It's a very, very difficult thing to see a youngster who can't be in a room with others or can't have their back to the door because of what might or who might come in that door. We need to establish places where they feel safe so that they can have that luxury of time invested in them to uh, be able to talk about what's happened to them. It is not a quick fix. It's a very, very long and brave journey that those young people undertake. The most important thing is about talking and talking to people that you trust. There are moments within each day, and I call them magical moments, where you do get that glimpse of a life to come, a life that can be, and that's what we thrive on and work towards. Even if we, find, if we feel awkward or it's really difficult to talk about things, it's so, so important that we do. Children in need fund voluntary organisations who work with these children. Without it, those organisations wouldn't exist. As much as anything, we owe it to society for young people to fulfil their potential, to be whatever and whoever they want to be in the future. Um, we have a responsibility. The grant from Children in Need has helped save children's lives. And without that, we couldn't do the work that we're doing.